this is the, I was just with my parents. It's the worst thing. They're visiting now and everything. It's just like they just want me to get married. It doesn't, sitting at dinner. David, Sarah, you remember you, you were talking to her yesterday? She's a girl. Why don't you marry her? Because she's my cousin. Like many comedians before him, Jerusalem comedian David Kalimnik uses his stand-up act as a way to talk about real issues in his life, like the hardships of making Aliyah and religious dating. I want people to understand the single life that I talk about, because I feel people should know about it. And also myself, I want to get it out. I mean, it's like a therapy, not just for me, for everybody. The fact that I'm talking about it, other people can be like, okay, Aliyah, yeah, that makes sense. You know, like other people are going through it, and it's colorful. My dad's given up. He's like, David, as long as he's Jewish. Just go for it, because he's a religious guy. He wants me to get married to a Jew. You know, sometimes people would come away like, oh, man, you know, it's so sad, the show. I was like, you know something? Then at least that means you learn something about what it's like to be a single person around here. As he says in his act titled, Find Me a Wife, Kalimnik keeps an eye open for every opportunity to meet members of the opposite sex. I'll go over the girls. I'll just say, Ani mechapesi sha, ulai yichola la azur. And I mean, I'll, I'll ask them this stuff, and you know, they like that. I mean, I'll even throw in other shticks. But the truth is, is that, you know, if I do meet my wife, that way, I don't care how I meet a girl. It's fine. I'll... Shalom, Makulam. Ani mechapes isha Yisraeli. Lama lo rotsa liyoditi. Atenu ya begamani. Kalimnik immigrated to Israel six years ago and opened up the off-the-wall comedy basement in 2007 after running private shows for a number of years. He did not know that he would be making a living in comedy when he first made Aliyah. I'm an Olech Adash. Can somebody at least support me buy one of these? Can somebody, just, just one. Just one. Just one. Rock Echad. It's Esher Shek. Ten Shek. You can't go. Besides for performing weekly at his club, Klimnik can also be seen selling bag handles at the Machane Yehuda Marketplace and handing out flyers for upcoming shows at tourist hotspots. David Klimnik, Jerusalem's comedian. Oh no, it's actually very good. I know. I just don't have time or interest. Oh, okay. He had to put in the interest. While walking around the marketplace, Klimnik took the time to play a song for one of his favorite bakeries. Oh, marzipan, I love you, sugar, chocolate, and all you do. He also stopped to eat a local falafel. Excellent. I think I'll take falafel. Yeah, but wait, before, could you just clean your hands, please? Clean? Yeah, clean your hands. It's, because, you know, I just generally, like most of the falafel guys are disgusting, you know, it's like, ugh, you know, and then they, like, just spit it on you. And I feel like I'm doing the right thing. I'm not trying to... I think, here, listen, I don't know if stand-up comedy is for everybody, but, I, you know, it makes a lot of people feel good, and also it brings a light, a different light on life. I mean, for the Aliyah monologue show, I think people are, you know, listen, they're able to connect now on their Aliyah. That's what it's there for. I mean, find me a wife. It's there to educate also both of those shows and to, for people to connect. From, from birth, I speak about it because I love being Dati. I love being religious. I mean, Uncle D, that's who I am, like my family. So you put all those shows together. Many people are already married. They don't want to help. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post, J Post TV.